Good morning. Today is Sunday, October 13th of 2024. This is the 287th weigh-in. Hey there. Okay, let's get back to it. Man, I feel like absolute crap though. I have put on 30 pounds in about six weeks. My goodness. My goodness, my gracious. It is an embarrassing and harrowing experience to remember just how much addiction is what steeped into your soul, it's steeped into your very being. There's a reason why people push past healthy barriers on in terms of uh, the use or overuse of certain substances and other people don't, you know. Most people, they feel uncomfortable because they ate too much and then the next day they eat less because they felt so uncomfortable. Other people, they feel uncomfortable and then to get over those negative feelings, they eat even more and then more and then it spirals, right? So, such is life, but I've done it before and I just have to do it again. And uh, hopefully this time I'll be smarter for it in terms of being cavalier about losing that momentum <sighs> or thinking I could take a break. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, I wish I had the answers, but obviously I don't. A lot of ideas, concepts of plans. <laughs> uh, I think the biggest thing for me is what I notice with my own thought pattern is <clears throat> let's say let's say the first bad day I had, I felt as bad as I do today. Like when five pounds extra came on, I felt like so fat and I felt uncomfortable and blah, blah, blah. So it's almost like I enjoy the full weight regain at the outset. And then it almost like it doesn't even feel like any extra weight added has an effect because I already feel like I'm maximally fat again, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is this whole like tomorrow, it plays a big role for me. So when I say, oh, tomorrow I'm going to do better, it gives me license to do worse today. And then the next day comes and I decide not to do it. And then I say, you know what? Okay, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. And that's how I'm able to rapidly put on weight in a way that you know most people can't even fathom but it's almost like it's because I string together many days of you know huge cheat days convincing myself oh this is going to be the spark that makes me do better tomorrow so whatever it doesn't matter ultimately as something I should have known for a while. Um, I'm an addict. My brain will be oriented towards abusing food for a handful of years, if not for the rest of my life. So my will needs to be stronger than my brain. And that's what it comes down to. And routine and momentum are the thing that make my mind stronger. It makes it easier. It weakens the brain and it makes the will stronger. I just got to be careful about getting tricked in the third round when I'm up two rounds to none and I'm going so strong and then my opponent plays possum and sits in the corner and I rush over to knock him out and then he throws a big right hand a la Scott Smith <clears throat> against uh, Pete Sell. Check it out if you've never seen that knockout. 
that's basically what happens with me and my obesity demon. Ah, oh, I got him. <laughs> and then there comes the overhand right, knocking me out. Tons of fun. But what else is there to do but to do it, you know? Would my work that I need to do be any different today if I was 195 pounds, 495 pounds? No. No, it wouldn't, so let's do it. Done. Okay. Fell asleep watching the Mr. Olympia last night. Woke up on the couch or in my chair four in the morning before going back upstairs or before going upstairs for the night. Um, so bum step one again. Doubt a one, as so he should have. What a monster. I think the reign of the 5'8", five, 5'6", eight, five, eight, five, um, men's open champions, I hope that reign is done. To me, it's absurd anyways. It's like, dude, you're the biggest man on earth, but you're a foot shorter than this other guy. Uh, that's why they have smaller divisions. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's why, you know, like, who was it? Franco Colombo technically had a better body than Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he never. Uh, I think he might have won an overall over him, but needless to say, Schwarzenegger was the famous one. He was seen as the champ. And I think that's how it should be. It's a lot harder to put on all that muscle if you're a much taller guy to fill out that frame. One. Oh yeah. Okay, whew. Well now, wasn't that a treat? Oh gosh, 30 pounds, Stephen Jacobs. But, you know what? Again, well, I mean, you could cope with it and intellectualize it or you could just suffer and just say, man, this really sucks and I gotta make a change. So let me try that instead of intellectualizing. You know, and saying, oh, well, I could have gained all of it back. At least I only gained 30 pounds of it back. No need for that copium. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. See you in a bit. Look at this champion dog on his nice walkies in the middle of the football game. Hello there. Okay, let's do some low to high flies, some cross extensions, and front raises. Is that at 110? Yeah. Okay. That Buccaneers game was absolute insanity. My goodness. Bucks went up 17 nothing. And then what they were trailing 27 to 24. And then they ended up winning 51 to 27. Something like that. Like, oh my gosh. That was a wild game. Wild but entertaining and also educational. So Baker started the game at like nine for nine. And then next thing you know, I think it was like 10 for 16 with three interceptions. And I mean, that's, that's kind of life. You got to be able to weather the storm. You know, does he throw in the towel after those three interceptions, change what he's doing, start playing like crap? You know, similarly... Uh, I just had the equivalent of about six interceptions <laughs> over the past uh, six weeks. What do I do? You know, do you just throw in the towel? Do you develop a defeatist attitude? Or do you just look past what's been done and say, hey, the next play has to be run the same way, whether I've thrown six picks or six touchdowns, you know? My job is the same when I eat next, regardless of how much I weigh or what, what's happened recently, you know. <sighs> same thing with this workout, right? I think last time I did like 80 pounds for 10. Now he's only able to do seven for 90 pounds. But that felt like a pretty good weight. Might be a little heavy. I could drop it. Okay, I'm supposed to do the front raise. I don't, I don't really know if there's a, another movement I'd rather do. I guess I could try to start doing like a shoulder press of sorts. But that messes with my shoulders too. Hmm. Front raise. I wonder if there's something I could do. Hmm. Let's see. Because I don't have any pressing movements, which I thought I would avoid pressing movements because they're bad on my shoulders, but I don't know that the front raise is any better. Let's 
Let's see if I could confangle something for a shoulder press. Hmm. Finnegan Fangle, Finagle something. Hmm, that felt weird. Should I have just gone out farther? <laughs> that would have made it more sense. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh. Uh. Okay, yeah, I like that. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. It's just a little weird wall. It was like trapped behind the cable and I didn't have the full Range of motion. Okay. Guess we're calling that like a shoulder press. It's like overhead press, but seated press. Okay, there that is. See you in a bit. Hello there. So, the game's still going on, but uh, Bengals are on defense, so I figured I'd get finished with my last lift, eat some dinner, and then lock it down again. Burrows look good thus far. He had, what was it, like a 52-yard touchdown run, which was uncharacteristic to say the least. He's got wheels. He's an athlete. I think he was a really good basketball player, if I recall correctly. I mean, you, if you're in the NFL, you could be slow compared to other NFL players, but chances are you're not slow in an objective sense. Oh. Okay, and then if you're a quarterback, you know, other than Tom Brady, <laughs> you're probably a pretty good athlete. And I'm not saying Tom Brady's not a good athlete, he's just slow. Oh, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. Who? 
Ooh. Well now, whew. Wait, it's actually going to do 40 on each side. Okay. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh. oh, oh, yeah, good stuff. <sighs> On the borderline, borderline, <laughs> just keep on pushing my love. Up to the borderline. That's good. We'll leave that there. Okay, another day, another ounce. See you tomorrow, friends.